Hey everybody, welcome to Swapping Thoughts. Um, I'm just here to do a little bit of a reaction video. Um, I know it's a little bit of out of my range, but I'm thinking of uh, exploring some new things and new ideas, okay? So, let's get right into this. An evil, ancient and powerful, has returned! <laughs> the story so much. I think he's been here among us all along. How man, it's important to years. Every soul in Middle Earth is in peril. They've already screwed themselves with the first season. What they really did was just take what Tolkien made and just jumbled it up, fumbled it a little bit. Pa they passed it over to the receiving and they fumbled it. It doesn't show much of Tolkien's work at all, really. It's really just, it, it feels like a fan fiction to me. I was, looking, I was looking in the comments and I know that there's a lot of uh, different things about it that... <laughs> that really stuck out to me. What impresses me the most about this trailer, they haven't even turned the comments off. I mean, bold move, bold move, elves. <laughs> oh no, Halbrand is actually Sauron. Halbrand puts on wig and pointy ears. This makes me realize that Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy was a miracle. Honestly, yes. The trilogy that Peter Jackson made was absolutely phenomenal and it still is today. I've noticed, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but like, with the rings of power and just with other things coming out recently they look kind of mushy they look kind of muddy kind of murky a little bit and the lord of the ring the original lord of the rings by peter jackson it looks a lot more gritty if that makes sense and the reason for that is because they don't a lot of the times they don't put the the hair light uh, on the back or even just or they don't even put a backlight back there which kind of blends them into the environment and it just doesn't make for a very uh, dimensional shot, uh, which I, w I wish they would kind of reinforce the backlight a bit more now, because that that's that's what happens is that it just looks kind of too clean. It looks too clean to be uh, to immerse me into the environment of the story. With uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, it's it's super crisp, super gritty. It obviously it, it looks outdated, but that's that's like the whole thing. That's that's why it looks so good. Um, and I just wanted to share that. Anyways, see you guys. Bye.